and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today the 24th Sunday in ordinary time. So let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, that you are my brothers and sisters, that I have really seen in my thoughts, and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. The one God, the one God, the one I most feel is God. Therefore, I ask you to make your worship, all angels and saints, that you are my brothers and sisters, to pray for me in the Lord. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Those who cut my ear, 
my face, I did not cheat, nor comfort and gentleness. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like a friend, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is the who opposes my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let that man confront me. See, the Lord God is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice in supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me the day I come. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The cords of death will come past to me. The snares of the netherworld cease upon me. I carry distress and sorrow. And I call upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, save my life. And I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Gracious is the Lord and just. Yes. Our God is mercy. The Lord keeps the little ones. I was brought to know, and he said to me, I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. For he has freed my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I shall walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from the letter of St. James. What good is it, my brothers and sisters? If someone says that he has faith but does not have works, can that faith save him? If a brother or sister has nothing to wear, has no food for the day, and one of you says to him, Go in peace, eat warm and eat well. But you do not give them the necessities of the body, what good is it? So also faith of itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Indeed, someone might say, you have faith and I have works. Demonstrate your faith to me without works, and I will demonstrate my faith to you from my works. The word of the Lord. Glory to Mark. 
Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Sicilia. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? It is said to him, with reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them, The Son of Man must suffer, pray. And they rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and they killed him and rise after three days. He spoke to his father. Then Peter took him aside and began to reveal him. At this, he turned around and looking at his disciples, Bill Peter said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking God has taught us. But as human beings do, he summoned the crowd with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life, lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake and that of the gospel will save me. The gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we spend food Sunday on a time. And also we celebrate the feast of our Lady of the Sun. And my dear friends, you see this cross, this part. Without Jesus, cross is meaningless. Because as in the Old Testament, it was a symbol of death. It is a symbol of curse. It is a symbol of pain. And it is a symbol of forbidden tree. But you see, now the New Testament with Jesus is his meaningful cross. It is a cross. It's so much of blessing. It is a cross redemption, salvation, hope, and a prayer to us. That's why Jesus tells us in the Gospel, if anyone wants to follow me, let them renounce themselves, take up their cross, and follow me. As we know, we all have crosses to follow, follow daily, hardships, struggles, difficulties, financial problems, anxieties, and what we make for others. The subtitle is painful, it is so difficult to bear. But good news is, when we embrace and accept this cross with Jesus, it becomes our hope, it becomes our blessing, it becomes our joy. So, the Jesus, the popular tree has become alive again. The curse has turned into a blessing. So my dear friends in Christ, we are not carrying our crosses, we are not carrying our problems, we are not carrying our difficulties without Jesus. We are carrying our crosses with Jesus. He is with us to guide us, to strengthen us to fight this mountain of Calcutta. So let us trust and surrender our daily crosses to Him and know that life that through sacrifice we have life, it is by giving that we receive. So when we do this with hope, when we do this with love, when we do this with so much of sacrifice and with a big smile, and we declare always, Lord, thy will be done. And we proclaim always, you are the Christ. St. Rose of Lima said once, Apart from this cross, there is no other man 
by which we may get to heaven. Amen. Stand in front of his arm. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one God, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from the Lord, life from life, through God from true God, so substantial to the Father. To him all things were made, for as the emperor of salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the cross of his life, his sacred death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in the corners of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He is born again in love and trust, the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of the Lord, proceed from the Father and the Son. So we will go and the Son is the Lord and the Lord of the Lord. I was born with the Father. I believe in one of the Catholic and the Church. Amen. 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 Dear brothers and sisters, Christ willingly accepts the sufferings of his life and the agony of his death to open the way of life to us. Let us pray that his people will show a similar willingness to accept their causes in life. For Pope Francis, Bishop Aldo, Bishops, Priests, Villagers and Deity, that they may joyously accept whatever joy and suffering from their way. For the sake of, of the people entrusted to their care. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. for the sick, the abandoned, the persecuted, that they may experience Christ close to them in their trials. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. for all women and men, that they may realize that their suffering is meant to lead them to Christ and closer to salvation. Lord, in your mercy, for this, our Christian community, that we may sympathize with those who suffer. Lord, in your mercy, for a lasting peace in those troubled places. Lord, in your mercy, let us bow our heads in silence and I'll pray for our personal intentions before the Lord. Father in heaven, your son gladly accepted all the sufferings that you have sent upon him. Help us to unite our sufferings with his and to trust in your love at all times. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen.
dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor on our supplications, my Lord, and in your kindness accept these your servants' offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, He humbled Himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, He freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, He gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
the blessed apostles, the Samaritans, the companions, all the saints, who have pleased you through all the ages, we will marry to be coerced with eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and form my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, our be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, under the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to the temptation, but join us from the world. Deliver us, the Lord, we pray for everyone. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and we away the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Moses, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity in accordance with your will. Believe and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also wish on the side of peace, peace be with you.
body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. How precious is your mercy, O God! The children of men seek shelter in the shadow of your wings. Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O Lord, we pray, take possession of your minds and bodies, so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is <coughs> Parish On Sunday, 22nd September, will be the birthday of Father Anthony. Kindly say a prayer for him. On the first Friday, October 4th, will be the family fiesta on our co cathedral, which will be blessed and inaugurated by His Excellency Bishop Aldo. We are looking for sponsors to support this event. All the proceeds will go towards the restoration of our co-cathedral. Every contribution, big or small, is warmly welcomed and deeply appreciated. You can give your contribution at the parish office. All are kindly requested to gain the extraordinary jubilee penalty indulgence of St. Aretas during this particular year. The last day of this indulgence will be on October 23rd, 2024. Thank you. Let us stand. O oh good our Father, we praise and thank you for giving us your current hearts and companions. We ask you to bless us with the same faith and courage they have been three hundred years ago to proclaim your grace to the merits of their martyrdom, may all people see Jesus Christ in us, so that all may be their love and come to know you as God. Today and by us, listen to our prayers, and set up the Holy Spirit, that your church and your people may receive them. May all we seek to do your will, draw in faith, and be attentive to the needs of others. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, to the of Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is go in peace. Amen.